Hello, it's Helen from Witchcrafts. Before we get into the second episode of Wreck This Journal, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel. And just a little reminder that I am running a competition to win these wonderful art supplies when I reach 100 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, it'd be much appreciated if you could click subscribe. And if you don't want to miss out on seeing any of my videos, then make sure that you ring the notification bell as well. So let's get on with the wrecking. I've only done two pages for this episode episode because one of them was quite time consuming and that's this one and it is to press leaves and other found things. I think the idea really was um, to use the book as a flower press um, but because I already have a flower press and I'd already actually pressed some flowers um, completely independently of this I decided to go ahead and use the flowers that I already had. I started off by painting a background using watercolour And then the flowers that I've assembled are um, valerian and then campanula, some um, buttercups. These are daisy leaves. Then we have um, one of the Herb Robert family. Um, some daisies before anyone gets the hedgerow police on me. These are all um, flowers from my garden. I haven't been out picking any wild flowers. Most of these would be considered weeds in any case, um, but I do have um, a couple of bluebells, but they are Spanish bluebells, so they're invaders anyway. So I'm going to be using some PVA glue to stick all of the flowers and leaves down onto the page. If you don't have PVA glue, which is just ordinary school white glue, you could use Mod Podge, which is just basically PVA glue mixed with a little bit of water, which is what I did just to make it slightly easier to paste it onto the page because it's very thick. So I just put a very thin layer down and then just pop the flowers and leaves into the positions that I wanted them to be in. thought the other page looked a little blank and boring so I decided I was going to make a daisy chain type pattern using the daisies. Once the first layer of glue that I used to stick the flowers down had dried I went back over all of the um, flowers and leaves with uh, a thin down PVA and water solution to um, just seal them slightly because obviously flowers are living and these aren't completely dry so I didn't want any of the fleshy parts sort of leaking onto the other pages. And then I realised that I'd forgotten to put the bluebells onto the first page um, and so I decided just to pop these on the middle of the daisies is crying out for something else to be drawn in there, so I'm sure I'll get round to doing that at some point. The second page, the prompt is to drip something onto this page. It said ink or paint. I'm going to be using my Pebeo Studio acrylics um, in a variety of different colours. I've got um, a sort of a teal colour, a purple, a pink, a silver and finally a coppery colour. And then it was just a case of folding the page over. Um, I didn't want anything squirting out the side so I just used a bit of kitchen towel and then opening it up and it looks beautiful. It's not really much of a butterfly but I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I do think it looks rather pretty. The colours have sort of merged in together and made quite an attractive pattern.
so just a quick reckless journal this week um, I will be back on Friday with the next episode of 365 days of art and then hopefully there will also be another bonus video next week once again if you haven't already please do subscribe and here are some other videos that you might enjoy thanks for watching bye